Myself, JK18, behind the camera, Sharky626. We're going to give a final test of the Whirlpool Direct Drive washer that has been repaired with a new motor coupler and new agitator dogs. If you haven't watched the previous videos, you should be, but now you can see that it works properly. And the motor coupler obviously will be demonstrated here. This video, of course, is not for those of you who uh, came by just to fix your machine. This is because you like washing machines and you know the deal. And that's why we're all here. Super Wash, hot, super plus, Tide washing machine cleaner. It fucking needs it. There we go. We'll dump this guy in. Just like that. Fill that up so we get all the chooch out of it. Alrighty, there we go. While the water is running, I'm just going to use my rag here and I'm going to clean up all the gunk and crap and this disgraceful is what it is. This machine uh, uh, has been neglected and overloaded at each load and that's why both of these parts, the motor coupler and the uh, agitator dogs have failed. I've never seen agitator dogs fail in the fashion that these did. That's a damn shame. So we're going to have a stern talking to the owner of this machine and let her know not to abuse the powers that be. So anyway, I'm just going to wipe this all down and we'll come back when this guy's full. There we go. Washing away once again. I thought I had bad water. Man, look at this crap. Of course, it is cleaning stuff out, but that's how the water actually looks. It's that kind of, what do you call that? Like a greenish looking like, yellow, yeah, orange, sort of, greenish, orange, something or another. Somewhere in there. Just awful. But that's what we got, so that's what we got to deal with. Supposedly, it's the best water in the world, somehow. Uh, I'm not sure how, but wouldn't have New York bagels and New York pizza without that kind. And that wouldn't be any good at all. Of course, I get to have that whenever the fuck I want. Use people's who don't live in New York's is can't do that all the times. So, with the new motor coupler, new agitator dogs, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, what a nice strong wash now. Oh yeah, much better. Much, much better. Yeah, still washing away. Doing exactly what it's supposed to. Working like brand new once again. All this machine needed was $12 in parts. Six for the agitator doors and six for the motor coupler. That was it. That's all it took. Unreal. Should be going into low speed agitation pretty soon. This machine has a pause before it goes into low speed. Very nice. I had to pull out the, um, the filter screens. As you can see, even if I hold it up to the light, there's not much that's going to pass through that. They are just completely shot because of the quality water that we have. The other one wasn't as bad. That was the hot. This is the cold. That's not in anywhere near. Oh, I'm sorry, the other one was the cold. This was the hot. She doesn't use hot much. So that one was pretty good, but it's they're, they're just too far gone. Just missed it, but just went into a good, solid, neutral drain. Listen to that purr. That really worries me. Because one day it's not going to... Somebody's going to get a shower if they're here. 
that really worries me, but whatever. It's below where anything else connects, so as long as the main stack doesn't uh, clog up, then it's fine. Oh, look at that water. Yuck. It's just a matter of not being taken care of, you know? You just want to clean it every now and again. Not every month, not every week, like your fucking AT machines that are garbage. Just every once in a while. There's nobody here to do it, so, you know, while we're here, it's kind of only the right thing to do. And it's draining perfectly fine. Just finished the ribbons, and now we're going to go for a neutral drain. There we are. Still some detritus in the wow tear, so I think we're going to go for a second rinse. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, it's got shit on the top there. The spray rinse should help, should help get some of that stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. That agitator. Oh, no problem. Jeez. Spray ribbons.
on that one. No, they didn't. We're now have entered the extra rinse cycle. And as you can see, it just continues to run beautifully. So uh, motor coupling, agitator dog repair, that's all it needed. And now it continues to run just awesome. Smoothly, without a hitch. And the transmission itself sounds very happy. Just the way it should be. Yeah, look at that. So like I said, we did a super wash and an extra rinse. So this is probably the longest this machine has ever run for, for, for one cycle. The free huggers have gone to their safe space now. They have. All mechanical. A perfect neutral drain. You know what I noticed? The drain pipe's actually making more noise right now. I wonder if it's like less sudsy or something, or you know, yeah, there like was more rinsed out. There were a lot of suds in this machine before we got started, right when we got started, I should say. Yeah, so it's probably much better than it was. I wonder so, if I ought to pick these little things out of the freaking. Yeah, do that. But Jay, you're putting hands into a washing machine when it's running. You shouldn't be doing that. Oh. It's all over now, man. I'm gonna die now. All right, well, I can't get that one. <laughs> That's okay, it may get washed out with the spray rinse. Well, I don't know if it's gonna do a spray rinse, but we'll find out. We'll find out. All right, get oh, back. Here, it's coming over here now. Whoop. No? <laughs> I'm not a fisherman. Nah. All right, we'll get back to when it goes in the spin. Yeah, no spray. Yeah, no, it just, it just does a spin by itself. Awesome. Perfect.